So today I thought I would do my first ever vlog. So I kind of thought that I'd take you around to show you like a day in my life and what I normally, well say what I normally get up to. I'm actually doing something really exciting today. I'm actually on my way up to London and I'm going to go to Pam, which if anyone doesn't know, it's like a makeup shop and they stock Ben Nye stuff and Cryolan and Makeup Forever and brands like that that you wouldn't typically be able to get in a normal store. So it's really, really good for makeup artists to go there and like stock up on kit and things like that. But they contacted me um, probably Probably last week now and they said that they were doing this kind of uh, private blogger tutorial event where we could go along and they would teach us how to recreate zombies and do like special effects makeup uh, like cuts and burns and that type of thing and obviously I jumped to the chance because I absolutely love doing things like that so it's about 12 o'clock now and I've got to be there about half past two so I was just gonna jump in the car drive to the station get on the tube and then go straight up to London so I am actually wearing a jumper from Topshop and I I bought this probably at the beginning of this year and it's kind of like a mustardy green knit like roll neck really really lovely and really nice and cozy as well because it's absolutely horrible horrible weather outside it's peeing down with rain and I really don't want to go outside so yeah I thought I'd put this on I've got some jeans on that are from next that I've had for absolutely ages these ones are like the lift slim and shape ones like the skinny versions and then these boots I can't actually remember where I bought these from because they've got like the cutout detail on the side which I absolutely love so I'm just going to go and have some breakfast because I haven't actually eaten anything this morning so I'm just going to go and have some cornflakes and then I'm going to jump in the car and I'll take you guys with me so I'm um, just in the car and as you can tell the weather is just absolutely disgusting and yeah so just absolutely gross so I'm gonna I was thinking about driving to the station near me but I'm actually probably gonna drive a couple of miles away to another station so it's actually quicker for me to get to London and I'm just gonna park the car up and then yeah walk to the station in this miserable horrible weather um, I haven't actually done any of these type of like events before so I don't actually know what to expect or who's gonna be there but I know that what they said was that there was gonna be like another blogger there which would be quite cool I don't know who that will be so yeah it'd be really cool to learn how to recreate zombies obviously I want to put another Halloween tutorial up for you guys hopefully the end of this week and then obviously one beginning of next week so then you've got two before Halloween so I'm really really enjoying doing these like, and I'm thinking I really don't want Halloween to end like I just want to continue doing it but I don't know if I could like I don't really know if, if people would watch them but I really love being creative and doing things like this so yeah I might decide to do a few more after Halloween maybe like some more like editorial stuff and like fashiony stuff would be quite cool so I could think about doing something like that so I will see you guys in a bit hiding under a bolly right now so you can't actually see me it's probably about a 10 minute walk maybe so yes fun and games in the autumn weather
So I am just back in my car and I literally just got off the train, walked to the car and then yeah I'm just on my way home and I cannot wait to get in. It's just such a horrible miserable day. My hair has gone all fuzzy as you can see and the actual event was really really good fun. I really enjoyed it. There was a couple of girls there um, that's done the makeup and also telling us about what happens in the store and what sort of type of products they stock and things like that and they've been going for like 19 years which is pretty incredible because I knew about Pam a little while ago but I didn't realise they were actually been there for 19 years so that's quite cool. Yeah they had some amazing stuff in there and they let us take home a goodie bag which was really good so as you can see there Pam massive bag but um, yeah so when I get home I'm gonna get changed I'm gonna eat something because I'm absolutely starving like literally I've only had cornflakes today so I really 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 need to eat something and yeah and then I'll show you guys what I've got. <laughs> changed into my disgusting house clothes because it's more comfortable and I've just put friends on and I'm just sitting chilling on the sofa lit some candles and that type of thing so today was really really good fun we yeah the people were really really nice there and it was really cool like I've never actually been to Pam store before but they've got the shop downstairs and upstairs they kind of got like a studio where they kind of do all their like events and stuff I suppose so the one that I went to today was like the first one that they've actually done like this blogger tutorial thing and they showed us how to do a zombie and how to do cuts and that type of thing which is really really good so I also ordered some uh, white contact lenses off of Amazon and they hopefully should be here tomorrow. So if they are, I'm going to get cracking on a zombie Halloween look and then yeah and then I hope to get one more up as well so I'm not sure what that's going to be but I'll kind of want both of them to be a bit sort of bloody and gory and stuff like that. I had a really really good time, it was nice to meet everyone and yeah had a look around the store and stuff and it, they were so nice as well. They ended up giving us like a goodie bag full of bits and as you can see here, da da da. <laughs> so um, yeah it's obviously not as full up as that because they gave me a massive bag. So I was kind of like looking around the store and I noticed that they'd done um, velour eyelashes and I picked up some velour eyelashes when I went to IMATS back in July and I'd never actually tried them before but I'd heard a really good thing so I thought I'd give them a go and yeah I absolutely loved them and oh god my hair's disgusting by the way sorry just really wanted to get another pair but they don't stock them anywhere that I found um so I ended up buying a couple online but in Pam they obviously stock them so which I was really really shocked about so the lovely lady they let me have them for free which is really nice so I picked up um the style uh, winging so this is what they look like and they're really really nice and defined at the outer edges really fluffy and loads of volume so I think they're going to be perfect for creating kind of like a cat eye look so I'm actually going out for Halloween but I'm not actually going to have a chance to dress up because I am at a wedding working all day plus I've got two clients to make into skeletons for Halloween so I'm not going to have enough time to do myself but I was going to do just kind of like nice makeup and then maybe like put some blood and stuff over me kind of like amp it up a bit so anyway they ended up giving us this little goodie bag I'll show you what's in it first of all they gave us this thing called third degree and this is like a it's like kind of like a it's not a wax but it's kind of like it looked like Vaseline when she pulled it out the at the tub and it comes in two parts so part A and part B and you want to get like equal uh, amounts mix it together and it comes up with like this gel that you can put on the skin and you can blend it in and you can create like deep cuts with it and you can build it up as well which is really really good because I normally use that Ben Nye scar and nose wax but I've recently um, ordered another pot of it and ordered it off Amazon but I didn't realize I picked the one up for dark skin which is like an epic fail so I actually can't use it on myself I'm gonna try this tomorrow to try and do some cuts and stuff so that should be good fun 
And also they gave us this Ben Knight bruise wheel, which I've wanted this for so long. And it's kind of like, I suppose like a grease paint waxy formula. And you've got all the colours in there that would create a bruise. And the zombie that they done today, they actually done like a patch at the bottom of the face where it was like green, like bruising. Because you know like when you bruise yourself and when it comes to like the end of its life, I suppose it goes that greeny colour. So they actually like created that at the bottom, which I thought was really cool. So you can do like those types of bruises bruises with it or you could do like a fresh bruise so you play around with that as well um this little pot of fake tube blood i thought was really really cool they were saying as well like sometimes when people buy pots of fake blood like there's so much of it and it goes to waste because you probably use it on yourself for halloween or use it on a couple of clients and then like I don't know, it might probably dry up and like go a bit gammy and stuff, so you'll never actually use the whole lot of it. So this company, I think it's called Bloody Marvellous, quite a good name. Yeah, they actually decided to come out of one in a test tube, and this is really, really good because you could probably only get about two uses out of this, so it's perfect for someone that kind of like wants, obviously, blood and gore for Halloween, but doesn't want to buy like a massive tube of it. So, yeah, I thought that was really, really good. And also, it's really, like, handy, so you can pop in your bag if you're going out. And, like, with a brush, you could just, like, reapply and stuff throughout the night. And the last thing they gave us was this really cool um, Cryolan Fresh Scratch. And, again, when they done this, like, bruise at the bottom of the face, um, they done, like, kind of like a scab, basically, to make it look like, I don't know, the zombie had been, like decayed and like rotting basically for ages so it was like kind of like a scab and like dried blood and i'll actually show you what it looks like in the actual pot just made an absolute mess of it um trying to get it open but it's like i don't know like a thick jelly like congealed blood and it's like yeah so it's quite gross so they said what you could do with it as well is just get like a stippling brush and just like stipple it on the skin to make it look like a scab basically but yeah tomorrow i'm gonna try and do this tutorial tutorial what the hell is that i'm gonna try and do this zombie tutorial so i'm thinking about maybe doing like half the face a zombie the other half half like normal but i'm not quite sure yet so i'm gonna like literally have a think and decide what i'm gonna do from there so i really really hope that you guys enjoyed this kind of like day in my life vlog style thing if you did give it a thumbs up and i'm gonna go and eat some dinner now because i'm absolutely starving and yeah i'll see you all in my next one bye